How are we going now, Johnny? Oh, all right. Now, you are the dairy farmer that we have decided to bring the 632 to have a wee run in. You're on your own 900, which is what age? 2002. What's that, Six. Old. <laughs> 16 year old. Would be. Any in, any inclination towards potentially changing her? No, nah, no. Nah. Run her on a wee bit, yep. Nah, a long time yet. Plan all her stuff that needs to change first. Do you change all her stuff first? Nah, I'd say so. Well, if you were changing it, what would you be looking towards? Something like this? Yeah, probably around this sort of size, same size as ours, or slightly more. Well then, you're 900. What horse is she meant to be? 600, 600. So she's meant to be somewhere, six, somewhere around, around, around this. Yeah. Is she standard, Johnny? Supposed to be. We never touched it. That doesn't mean it's standard. <laughs> How uh, do you know yourself from driving them? Because not only do you drive your own, you have experience driving for McConaughey's and that. Is she a real fit 900? I suppose well, I haven't driven any other 900s bar out like so. Well, where would she have been in the scale of the 950? Somewhere, uh, so it would have been somewhere. Maybe I left the stuff last year for them, the 950 had been left in it. And the boys it was carting reckons it was going a wee bit harder. It's, like. it's hard to just... It's hard to say. It's hard to judge it in this here because this is very, very naughty grass. Aye. Very short, Spring. naughty difficult sort of stuff to, to lift. In actual fact, it's the only time this season that I've seen the 630 trigger the slip clutch. So, but you've, we've left you alone to do maybe 40, 30, 40 acres. 30, 40 acres. So you're not really on to her yet. How are you getting on with her? I like it. I, know, I see one thing you're on to, that a lot of people that's coming from a class harvester or a John Deere harvester, would be complaining about the joystick, but I think it's your allegiance to Fint and your love for Fint. You seem to be on the joystick, no problem. I just, well, mine's is the slide out of the armrest one, the over one on mine. Like, but that's just like driving the tractor. Get used to it. Ah, there's a trailer coming for you now. Well, there's another reason we chose to bring the 630 to you to fix the scrapes that you put on it. Ha 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 ha! Ha ha ha! If there's any scrapes on it, I can assure you. <laughs> the, uh, I've arrived since last night. Uh, she's in right straight now. There are not many marks on her, I don't think. No. But that is what you generally do for me, is fix bumps and scrapes. You are the man that, over the, over the last two or three years for us, you, I think you first started off tidying up a... You started off fixing a, I think it was a 7 and 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 a the fate was the first big full restoration job you did for us. Aye. The lorry. Then Eva Rose got a, a just a just a tidy up, no cab pain. No. Just a chassis and a wee bit of work around the chassis. Mud guards just, and the just before we went to Romania that time. And then the next big job was the 35. Aye. Then your biggest job of all for us, Georgie Ann. Yeah. Did you enjoy doing her? Aye, whenever I was finished. <laughs> and it wasn't that bad, was it? No, well. <laughs> Hello. Hiya. You're all the wee bit there. <laughs> uh, I wear it all seven, you see Wells all the hashes I make. Oh you did the doubts as well. Aye. And then But the lorry was a funny one. Because everybody thought we were mad. Back in the cream. Doing the cream. Did you think we were mad? Tell the truth. 
Let's get a good enough spake to hoe off. You know, were you worried? No. My fear was you not letting out of the courage if it didn't turn out right. <laughs> But when she drove out, how much did you love it? I was happy the way it uh, finished up now. And that's the one thing that I was keen to get out there is you are not just a paint man. You love shiny metal. <laughs> and you like creating shiny metal. And you're, you run your own harvesters. On the farm here at home, your dad milks cows. Robots. Yeah. So you're very active on the farm, slurry, all a lot of that machinery. But not only that, there. Then you have a wee shade where you make magic happen. <laughs> I call it magic. And is it fair to say there's always a grassman project sitting outside, nearly somewhere? It's never too far away. What's the current project? John Deere was it? 4755, so we're going to do up to 4755 and uh, see how it goes. Is that a big job? Shouldn't be too bad. It's not really rotten or... Of course it's not, it's a John Deere. What was the worst tractor you tackled yet from your point of view? The hardest one to get right. The feet and gears will be up there. Aye, that 11090. Mm -hmm. As in you just don't like them or just time consuming the uh, mug guards don't come off them. But no. you've done other fates. I've done other ones too. And is it fate. fair to say you've done you've even done a fate on the back of our fate? Aye. You know. The one through Armstrong's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Frank, Frank Garrity, he got one done. Pretty much wanted it done at end ago. Just a copy of yours. And then you done it, you were doing a lovely blue one at the same time. Right. Like they're nice to never have done that. Watch I'd you. say they're sort of there's a lot of work in the feet. Different yeah. tra every tractor's different, like. Uh, well what was the nicest one you enjoyed working on the most? Duncan's Dutch. Uh no, it, it, was, it, was a bit, it was a bit of torture. It was, a, was, sure, it, it, was, a, was it the, the dragner was the torture or the time frame? Uh, both. <laughs> uh, you'd have had me working on it on Christmas Eve if you'd had your way. I <laughs> know, oh, well, we did. You picked up the day before. We got it the day the before. 20, the 23rd. Uh, Saturday evening. It's well worth it, but. Okay, it turned out nice. Well right. worth it. You see a big difference in the tractor and every paint one, you can stand back and... Well, the process of doing the Georgie and Laurie, as you say, the spec was there. We did put a lot of work in to try and find the right base truck. But, like, that is a big job. Uh -huh. Like... Like, when people see the pictures of, of where you stripped that down to, like... Like, there was... The stripping in the building was the biggest part of it. Uh, it was one of the biggest... Um, I wasn't even like we painted it and stuck a set of alloys on it. Sure, the wheels were painted, the bars were painted, perimeter cat, catwalks, the light bar, Ever the, 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 the the slimline visor even ended up painted. Aye. But yeah. do you like when you're sitting back at home now, or you're in at night, or you're not farming, or you're not painting, or you're not working there, and you're you know you're flicking through the old online situation? Do you like? Do you like seeing, you know, when you go to someone goes to a truck show or you've done a lorry or, you know, and you do a lot of lorries, you're working for a lot of lorry men now. Do you like seeing that? Seeing the ones seeing, I've you done. See, you see the pictures and you know you've worked at them or worked on them. Oh, well, whenever you walk around the truck show and... Yeah. Port. So you rub at the port. Aye. And you know there's handfuls You walk around that and there's maybe a few you've done, like, it's well, nice whenever you can stand back, like, it's different, you'll not bump into another one the same. Yeah. So what tractors do you run in your own fleet then, Johnny? Uh, two Fints, two Masses, e -Hall. What's your favourite? Fint. 
better put the head down. Definitely go. Definitely would help now. I said two two fence, two masses and a new horn. Yes. International and the feeder wagon. It sits in the feeder the whole time, doesn't it? Doesn't really get hooked off it ever. And then your shovels at JCB. And a Terex. Oh, I have a Terex as well there. But what would you rather do if you if you could choose every day? Would you sit in one of these, or do you like doing the painting? You know, or is it? Time I'm finished cutting the silage or doing any other bits and pieces, I'm ready to go back to the shed. <laughs> and if you're standing in the shed looking out, but then you can't wait to get out of the shed. shed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can't wait to get out of that shed as well. And a lot of people don't realise this is home for me as well. Right. I live well, not now, but I grew up just a couple of miles on up past you. Some great men come from this road, hey? Seems to be. <laughs> Looking that way, hey? <laughs> well, what do you think of the wee crown? I like it. I like the controls and good steering lock, comfort. It's a wee bit more quieter than mine, but... You find her a wee bit quieter than yours. It's right noisy yeah. there now. She does run nice. You broke the door. It's just getting it in by the belly, don't it? It takes time, it takes persistence. What do you think of like all general visibility and stuff like that, apart from the door that's in your way there? <laughs> that seems the newer har the newer harvesters all that bit bigger than mine. Man. The wheels stuck out by mine, and then all the new ones are sort of wider panels on them. They give you more room around them. So when it comes to the bodywork repairs, what is your favourite part of that now? Is it fixing things or like repainting things? Because when we have the very odd, rare, occasional boo-boo, we still bring it to you to fix. Or do you like the bigger projects where you take in your whole tractor from the start or Lorry and start and do it? It's nearly... But everything you, yeah. you don't want to be, you can be working on something, a lorry one day and a tractor the next and you know, you're not stuck doing the same thing over and over again every single day of the week, week in, week out. And you also do a lot of tidying up, things for sale and, and, and things like that there. So after the 4755, what do you think the next project will have for you is? 164. 164. And I'm right in saying you're keen to get your hands on her. I didn't let me have my way the last time. I thought you got your way rightly. What more were you wanting the last time? Oh, I have a list there. You have a list? <laughs> Would you make a lot of changes to her, Johnny? Probably just change what? Stickers and stuff from the cab, would you know? Want to bring her day? Two thousand and eighteen. You are? Bring her up to two thousand and eighteen. I know, but she's a two thousand and four truck. Would you do her something similar to Georgiana, or what would your thoughts be? Maybe cream in the bottom half and say no more till it's done. I don't know. I'm sure we'll know better than they're standing in the middle. <laughs> no better halfway through. Maybe you're crying down the phone because I'm looking for a set of Michelin's. Has they? You done that the last time? You cried look at Michelin's. What was that this time she triggered? It was stone, it was longer. Maybe you turn the hand over down a wee bit, yeah. Just when you're getting that forward speed up there, she's just pumping that feed roller up too fast. 
And it shows you for she'll pull that. She can pull that lump in here, that sort of lump when you go steady and not do it. So the more it doesn't look like big lumps when you're travelling at speed, it must be must be fair to have to set the sensor off. Anything else exciting in there at the minute you're working on? Couple of 390s. There, full resprays there just finished. Uh, 7, 8, 10 for your friend. Holy Alex, 7, 8, 10. Uh, 6, 7, 4 international. 6, 7, 4? Uh, When's the 47 going to be done? <laughs> She's sitting outside and you get a phone call. <laughs> you think you won't see me between now and then? Oh. <laughs> uh, Just you, you know me now, Johnny. <laughs> I'm panicking and I move in. Yesterday, middle of the week. Uh, is that doable? Realistic now. Fortnite, turn around. Be tight enough for a full respray. Uh, screw it apart and see how bad she is. She's not bad. She's not a bad one. No, she's not. No, she's not. I don't think there's any. I don't think we need to weld her out. No. What about the dent in the bottom? It should be okay. Then you can sort that. Thanks, Boris. Thanks, Bear. 